Journal Record editor Russell Ray joining us now with more stories making news in uh, business this week. Let's uh, begin here. The Oklahoma Hospital Association president is speaking out about Oklahoma's poor health rankings. Uh, what does she say is behind that? Well, uh, she says the biggest reasons are a lack of uh, health insurance and not enough access to health care. Uh, Patty Davis reminded all of us that Oklahoma, according to United Health Foundation, uh, ranked number 47 in overall health last year. Davis pointed to the closing or bankruptcy of several uh, rural hospitals in Oklahoma. She also pointed to funding cuts to Medicare, uh, mental health care, and other health care services. But Davis told us she is encouraged by what she described as a new willingness by lawmakers to consider an expansion of Medicaid in Oklahoma. What about Oklahoma City University School of Law? Apparently they have uh, some big ideas for the future. What are they? That's right. OCU will be launching a new Center for Criminal Justice this fall. Oklahoma has the highest incarceration rate in the world, and criminal justice reform has been a big issue uh, during this year's legislative uh, session. So uh, the center will focus on ways to uh, change what many have described as a broken system. The uh, new school will be uh, working with the Oklahoma County Public Defender's Office and the county's Criminal Justice Advisory Council. We've got a new state law, Russell, that's going to promote the formation of uh, benefit corporations. So tell us what those are and how they work. Yeah, uh, benefit corporations are a fairly new concept, but it's a concept being adopted in states nationwide. Uh, for registered benefit corporations, the mission is not just about making money for shareholders. It's uh, also about being socially responsible. Uh, so what this new law does is it places uh, those social objectives on a legally equal plane with uh, financial objectives. And it's also a great tool for branding your business and for attracting and retaining employees. Okay, oil and gas industry is lauding the latest development regarding a tiny beetle. <laughs> What's that all about? Uh, yes, Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, one company, uh, we're told, spent $10 million to relocate 119 beetles so it could move forward with their oil and gas project. That translates to about $100,000 per beetle. So it's no wonder uh, the oil and gas industry celebrated this week when the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced plans to uh, downlist the American burying beetle from endangered to threatened. Uh, one oil and gas producer told us the change will lead to tremendous savings for the industry. Just about out of time. Real quickly, what do you got for us uh, coming up next week? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what we're working on, we'll be uh, taking a closer look at workers' rights versus employer rights when it comes to the use of medical marijuana. Very good. We look forward to that. Russell Ray, thank you so much. My pleasure, Rich. Thank you.